Did you guys see it at the theater this afternoon? Uh-huh. Did you like it? Yay. This is your new favorite. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> how did Elliot break his How did he break his tooth? Well, when he was younger, he was chewing on some rocks. Remember that part of the movie where he picks a log up in his mouth? He, he likes to eat logs and trees and rocks and things like that. And at one point when he was a younger dragon, he ate a rock that was a little bit too big and it chipped his tooth. So how did the original, like, how did that inspire you at this point? I know you said you were trying not mm -hmm. to rewatch it when you were rewriting it during the movie, but... I think more than anything, you know, when you watch that movie at the age of six or seven, which was the age I watched it, you wholeheartedly buy into the relationship between a child and this magical creature, and there is nothing fantastical about it whatsoever. It just makes sense. Of course you're going to be best friends with the dragon. That's what we wanted to capture. You know, so we wanted it to be uh, a relationship that made sense, especially to a younger audience who I remember having, you know, imaginary friends and being friends with all of my stuffed animals and and those were as real to me as any human beings they may or may not have been friends with at, at that age. And I wanted I wanted to create a relationship between two characters who to them to to them that's just the most natural thing in the world. And I wanted audiences to be able to feel uh, likewise. And that's that's what I remember about the original, and that's what I definitely wanted this movie to be geared with. And with Disney, this is your first and Disney, Disney film. Yeah. This is so how did how did that happen? How does that feel? It's cool. I mean, I grew up loving Disney movies. I never got to go to Disney World because uh, my parents would never take me, but I always wanted to. I'm the oldest of nine kids. Have you been now? I went to Disneyland in October for the first time, and I went again the other day for the for the second time. But I still haven't been to Disney World. Okay. But I loved. Pinocchio was the very first movie I ever saw in the theater. I was obsessed with The Little Mermaid. I was obsessed with Beauty and the Beast. And Beauty and the Beast? That's when you like. You like Beauty and the Beast? I love that movie. I can still sing all the songs from it. Can you? <laughs> I bet you could right now. So, so getting to make a Disney movie was not necessarily a dream come true because I wasn't expecting that to ever happen, but it was certainly surreal and ultimately very satisfying. It felt like a, uh, my childhood self would be very proud of me now as an adult for having done it. I grew up definitely running around Disneyland. I had a uh, grandmother that lived on the other side and she took me to Disneyland every year. Yeah. And, uh, you know, next week I'm going to be, she's 92 now, and I'll get to take her to the, the, to the premiere. So. Oh, amazing. Uh, another thing I was wondering is, you know, with Peach Dragon, how that inspired you guys as kids. What do you hope kids get out of this? I mean, this is probably going to inspire the next generation. I mean, I hope it inspires a lot of things. I hope it inspires drawings like this one, which yeah. are awesome. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, hope, I hope it inspires kids to go run around the woods, because I grew up doing that, having a blast, and, and I hope that, you know, the kids go watch this movie and then go run outside for a couple hours because it's, it's it going exploring is so much fun and, and I don't know if it still happens. I know a lot of parents who whose kids don't go outside as much as I remember going outside for various reasons and, and but it's it's so it's such a big part of my childhood and I wanna inspire kids to have the same adventures that I did. And and also I want I want all audiences, specifically children, to have an emotional adventure with this movie because it, it touches on so many things, the feelings of, of loss and sadness, but also joy and happiness and wonder. And I find with many family films, um, they don't respect the emotional intelligence of children and what kids are able to handle, the questions they're going to ask, and also the things they need to learn about the world. And I don't want to make a movie that's too scary or violent or... or or, or hard to watch. I, this is I wanted to make the most gentle movie I could, but at the same time make a movie that respects the emotions that I remember having as a child and all of the, the feelings, whether they were good feelings or bad feelings that I was trying to process and to, to let audiences, specifically children, know that they're not alone in feeling those things. We wanted to find the right line where, you know, if a if the kid feels up to it, that they, they they can go see it and not be too worried about it getting too dark or too scary or too violent. Exactly. Yeah. You did. Did you think it was scary? Uh, a 
Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> and you wanted to ask the next question? The last question. And um, today he's like, today he was like, hey Jada, I want to see the green dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> that was your brother that said that? Uh-huh. Oh, but he didn't get to go see it? Uh, not yet. We're going to take him next week. Great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, I hope he likes it. You, could, you should tell him all the things that happen in it so that he's like knows it's not scary. Yeah. You could tell him before. Hey, do you want to ask that other question? mountains with all the other dragons and they're you know it's pretty far away but I think that if you really want to go find him probably she was like I want to go to Utah where grandma lives and go in the mountains and find him never they're out there somewhere they're out there somewhere it was very magical so yeah, I was tearing up I was like this is like the perfect movie like it was, it was beautiful. oh thank you thank you so much yeah well, is there anything else you wanted to say? Maybe ask you. No, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just really proud of the movie. Really happy that it's finally done, and I really am excited for audiences of all ages to go see it. And I hope that it's a movie that people find value in returning to. Now, not just because they can go see it again and again in a the theater, like, but like the, I, I wanted to make something that would last and that, that kids would grow up and show their kids. And so hopefully it has that sort of effect. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much.